It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. Jeff Grubb with GameSpeed.com, and this time we are talking about encoding solutions for live streaming. On, le on the left, you're going to see Invenc. On the right, X264. Invenc is NVIDIA's encoder. It's the hardware encoder that's built into NVIDIA GPUs. I'm using the updated RTX Invenc. This is um, a, a much better version of the way this encoder works uh, that's improved over previous generations. And then on the right is, you know, just what you get when you use your CPU and software encoding. Most people are going to be using one or the other for uh, putting video onto something like Twitch or YouTube Live. Um, if, if you want, here is a pretty good example of, like, what footage could look like at, like, 160 megabits per second. This is just a point of comparison. You, there's no way you're going to be live streaming the, uh, this. Twitch will, would kick you off so fast. Uh, and then again, on the left is NVIDIA encoder. On the right is, is the CPU. I think what you're going to notice is, is that for the most part, GPU encoding, CPU encoding looks pretty comparable. Um, these two things now are kind of right in line. But where the GPU still struggles is with bright lights. You can see on the bottom right of the frame and all throughout this frame, uh, there's some bright lights and there's a lot of blocking. Like on that, that ray beam on the top left there and just that bright light um, on the bottom right. It's just completely getting blown out and it's very smooth with the CPU encoding um, and it looks much closer to what you get with the, the, you know, the true footage in the middle. But if we stop and focus on the text, you can see that the CPU is really struggling. Um, any sort of distant text gets really muddy and blotchy and illegible. On the GPU, meanwhile, it's pretty easy to read what that says. I mean, it's not you're going to have to struggle a little bit, but I think your viewers are going to have a lot easier time reading what's on the left than what's on the right. And keep in mind that these images are blown up. These are 1080 captured footage blown up to 4K. But the GPU also outstrips the CPU in a number of other ways. Um, specifically, I think it's really good with speed, with rapidly changing details in a, in a scene. And it also seems to be better with, with darker details. Um, where earlier we saw the GPU struggling and having a lot of blocking with with light and bright explosions, I think the opposite is, is true when it comes to darker shadows. If you look out into the, into the crowd, I think the GPU is having an easier time of providing detailed imagery out there than the CPU. Um, it's not the worst, but the CPU does seem to be losing some of that visual information that the GPU is hanging on to really well. But then we can also look and see how when, when the car is moving quickly, and Rocket League is an especially fast game, so it's, it's, a, it's a good game to show the details here. But you look at that uh, hexagonal mesh on the outside of the arena. Um, when we fly by it, like look right here, I think on the right we're losing a lot more of the detail of those lines of, that, of those hexagons, where the GPU is primarily keeping most of those hexagons intact. Like right here, you, th this is a good example of like what most of these frames look like for each uh, encoding option. The GPU is primarily keeping those hexagons intact. You could see most of the lines, they aren't, uh, the, you aren't losing gaps in, the, in that information. Meanwhile, the CPU is just sort of like piecing things together without like, w w and, and there are, for example, huge gaps, especially along that right side there where you know, the, 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 the CPU just wants to put the basketball court through to the image instead of those lines. It doesn't want to, want to worry about those small little strips of detail. So then the question is, which one do you, you use? Which one should you use? And that's going to come down to a couple of factors. If you have all of the hardware already, if you have an RTX card and you have a good CPU, um, I would probably go with NVENC at six megabits per second, which is on the upper end of what Twitch will allow. If you go anything above that, they will kick you off for sure. Um, because you get those details, you get the detail of the text, people can read that stuff and that's what they're gonna want. Um, I think if uh, an explosion is blocky and a bit ugly, people are more forgiving of that than not being able to read like an enemy's name over their head in a multiplayer shooter. But you have to take cost into, a, into your consideration as well. Um, these RTX cards are expensive. The 2070 is going to come out soon. It's going to be like $600. And 
and you can get a really good multi-core CPU, like a six-core CPU for $250 in that range, uh, and that's going to be really good for something like streaming a game while also running a game on that same system or just capturing a game. Um, and, and so if you don't ha want to spend all that money and you just want to go ahead and keep using your CPU to do most of your encoding work for video uh, rather than going out and buying an RTX, by God, do that. Do not buy, do not go out and get an RTX just for this new NVENC update. It's not worth it. But if you do have both, the point is, is if you already did spend the money and you're trying to figure out which one's best, uh, I think NVENC has sort of started to outpace CPU for the first time uh, that I've seen. And that's exciting. That's interesting. I, and I'm glad it's happened because it's, um, it gives people new options and hopefully we'll just continue to see these improvements as we go forward. Um, so yeah, the final word is NVENC is impressive, it's improved, it's cool, I'm glad that this is happening, um, but if you are cost conscious, uh, I would stick with CPU encoding and just be happy with it, it's just fine, it's been fine, it's going to continue to be fine. And yeah, that's gonna, I think that's going to do it. Um, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Jeff Grubb with GamesBeat, I'll catch you next time, bye.